Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Slade, otherwise known as Deathstroke, from Teen Titans Go. Now I know we haven't actually seen the character in the show, but this is just my interpretation of what he might look like if he were in the show. So let's get started. We'll start with the eye. So in the middle of the eye, I'm going to draw a little angle, just like that. This leads up to the eyelash, or the upper eye area. So I'm going to draw an angled line just across and up. And then underneath here, I'm just going to come in a little bit on the left side and just connect to that outside point. Now here, I'm going to draw a little bit of a bag under this eye on this side. So just a little swipe, with a little slight curve. And then from here, I'm going, to draw, I'm going to split the head in half. So I'm going to start at the top. So if I imagine the forehead being quite large, and it comes down to his chin here. So I'm just going to put my fingers here just like this. And because he's looking towards the left, I'm just going to curve it so it's bowing out to the left, just like that. And from here, I can figure out, okay, well, let's get the top of the head. So I'm going to start on the left side and draw a curve just like that. So it's longer on the right than it is on the left, because, again, he's looking that way. And from here, I'm just going to connect this point to here by drawing a curve that goes out towards the cheek and then right to that point. And from here, I'm going to connect this to here. But before I do that, from here, I'm going to go out to the jaw with a straight line. Now, this is going to get connected with a curve, but inside here, I'm going to draw an oval for that ear piece. And then on the right side here, I'm going to draw a slightly smaller oval, just to show a little bit of depth. Then connecting this, I'm going to tuck this line in underneath that point, and then continue on just like that, right here. Over here, I'm going to put just an indication of that ear piece, just so you can see it. Let's go in here and draw the mouth slit. So he's got two on this side here. So I'm going to draw a line and an angle, just like that. Then space it out and I'll draw another line. Now here I just want to thicken this up and just kind of round out the bottoms and the top, just like so. Just to give it some softness. Now you can go in and thicken up the eyes if you want. So I'm just going to go in and thicken up the lines along the top of the eye and along the bottom. Just like that. In true Teen Titans Go style. There you go. Now here I'm going to draw on the neck. Let's get down here and let's start on the left side. So I'm going to draw an angled line down. And on the right here, I'll draw another angled line down. Now here I want to spread out some lines and curves for the shoulder. So I'm going to come out on the left side. Now come out on the right. Now here, I'm going to draw the chest. So the front of the chest is basically a slight curve angled down. And I'll come in towards the waist. Here I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to come down with a curve and then around the back, just like so. And here I'm going to connect it with a curved line. Now let's get up here and we're going to just draw the separation for the neck and the collar. And then here, to here, I'm going to draw the strap that goes around his chest. So start up here and curve a line and just connect it right to that point. And I'm going to make it double thick, just across like that. From this point to this point, I'm going to draw a curve that goes across the chest. Coming down, tucked in behind that strap, and back up here. And again, I'm going to make this a little bit thicker, so I'm going to draw it double thick, just like so. Alright, now let's get into the shoulders here. So here he's got like a metal plate. So on this side, on this corner, I'm just going to draw a short line that goes up in an angle. I'll draw another one here, and I'll connect those two with a curve. Over here on the bottom, I'm just going to draw a line straight out. And then from that point, I'll draw a line straight out. Again, same thickness here. And I'll draw an angled line. And then I'm going to go up in a curve, just to match this curve line here. And then connect those two points with a straight line. And I can draw two little rivets. Let's go to this side here. I'm going to draw one line from this point coming down. I'll make that twice as thick and I'll draw lines straight down just like that. From this point, I'm just going to draw a curve, curve, and connect that. I'll draw the same angled curve on top, and connecting this point to this point here. And again, drawing two little rivets. Maybe I'll put two more here. So I'm going to draw them on the back side, so just making them stick out a little bit. Now let's get into the hips. So here, I'm going to draw a curve on this side and on the right. This comes down to the hip, and now he's got like a utility belt here. So on this side here, I'm just going to draw a line like this. And imagine this line connecting over here, just like so. 
this side, I'm going to come straight down and straight down on the inside. And I'll just connect that with a straight line. And I'll split this into two. Here I'm going to do the same thing. So coming down, the same equal length as here. And come across and I'll come down. And I'll split this into two. I'll connect these two points by coming down a little bit on the top and just drawing two curved lines. And then I'm going to split this with two short lines in the middle. All right, let's get into the legs. So here on this side, I'm going to imagine the hips coming down behind this utility belt and coming down to the knee. Slight curve to it. Here, I'm going to, in the middle, I'm just going to draw a straight line across. And then just like an overlap, I'm going to come down, swoop down to the heel with one long curve. I'm going to do the same thing on this side and do the opposite leg, just like that. And then from here, I'm going to imagine this line coming down the hips, coming down towards the kneecap. And on each knee, he's got like a big sort of round plate, like a metal plate. So I'm going to draw one on that side, and one on the right. It's basically an oval. It's got a little bit of detail on his shin, so, or on the thigh, sorry. So up here, I'm going to draw an angled line down, and one down here as well. And I'll connect them with a curved line, and I'm going to split this into two, just like that. Well, actually three pieces, but with two lines. I'll do the same thing on this side. So basically mirrored, come down an angle, come back down to the bottom, and then connect the two points, and then drawing two lines to make it into three parts. Let's get into the uh, shins here. So from here, I'm gonna come out an angle, so it basically gets tapered out. Same thing on this side as well. And then from here, I'm just gonna come up a little bit on the bottom here and draw a curved line. So an upward curve like this. And then from here, I'm just going to draw a curve that connects to that point, crosses it, and just stops right about there. Do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to mirror exactly what I did here. Come up, cross that line, and come down. Now from here, I'm going to draw a line coming down, and then across. And I'll split this into two, like that. Again here, I'll come down, across, and then drawing two lines inside. Now for the feet, over here, I'm just going to draw a line across, straight across. This one could come down in a bit of an angle. I'll create a curve, just to finish that off. Curve here. On the corner, I'm just going to split this with a curved line. So basically a quarter of a circle. And the bottom of the feet, I'm going to draw a line here and a line there. Now I'm going to connect this with a curved line, but along the way, I'm going to do three little notches. So come across, up, basically it's like a square, three times. And then come up and finish that off there. Here I'm going to start in the back, so one, two, three, and go across. Now if I'm going a little bit too fast, you can pause, rewind, and replay back, just so you can see what I did exactly right there. So let's get into the arms. So here, on this corner of this metal plate, I'm going to come straight up towards the elbow. I'm going to come up to where this chest is, and I'm coming straight up towards the elbow. I'm going to do an overlap and curve up towards that utility belt and tuck it in behind. Here, I'm going to do a curve, but I'm going to make it go a little bit wider as I come up towards the wrist. Then here, I'm going to come straight down. I'm going to come up a little bit, draw a line across, down, and across, and then up. Here, I'll do an across, and I'm basically just doing an overlap here. I'll go up, just like that. Let's go to the, uh, actually, here he's got a metal plate, I see. So I'm going to do a curved line along the forearm, along the wrist, leaving a gap open on either side, come across, and again, splitting into three parts with two lines. Let's get into the other arm. Start about here on this metal plate, come straight across, come up into the body area here, and I'll come straight down. Now here I'm going to curve an upward curve towards that belt. Then here I'm going to do the opposite curve. Uh, I see he's also got a split in the fore, or in the uh, upper arm, so I'll do a split here. And I'll do a split on this side as well. Now finally the hand. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to come across here. I'm going to come down. Go straight across and then up. I'm going to come up a little bit, go straight across, and go up, and come straight across, and basically there's our hand, and then finally the metal plate, so here I'm going to draw a curve, 
top curve here, connect those two points, and then split it into two, or three if you're using two lines. And I think that is it. I'm gonna go in and eventually color this in black, color him in, but I think that there he is. So there's Slade from Teen Titans Go. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe. And thank you very much for taking me to 10,000 subscribers. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.